People around the world have been using psychoactive substances such as tobacco, alcohol, opioids, and cannabis for various reasons for thousands of years. Substance use is deeply embedded in the fabric of many societies, and many of us use drugs to celebrate successes or then to help us deal with grief and pain, loss and sadness. We may use drugs to mark rites of passage and to pursue spiritual insight. We use drugs to get going or to unwind. In short, substances really are still used as aids to daily living. Each one of us has our own unique relationship with substances, which can change throughout our lives. Most of us start by experimenting with a substance for fun or because we heard it could help in some way. But here are the most common reasons we use drugs. Pleasure. Most psychoactive substances produce feelings of pleasure. Curiosity. We're strongly influenced by what other people are doing around us. Social interaction. Drug use can be a way to build connections with others. Relief. Some people with anxiety may use drugs to feel calm and relieve themselves of the feelings of stress. People also may have experienced trauma or depression and use drugs to prevent these feelings from arriving in the present moment. Performance. People may use drugs to enhance their productivity their focus, and even their endurance on a specific task as they can achieve the next level in their social life or in their work life or school. Substance use is complex and has the potential to both help and harm us. This is because each of us has a different combination of genetics, life experiences, influences, and personality traits that make up who we are as individuals. Just as we all have some degree of mental health, we also have substance health. In other words, we can all fit somewhere on this substance use continuum, featuring no use on one end, and then developing a substance use disorder on the other. Obviously, most people don't plan for their drug use to become a problem or even part of their lifestyle, but it can happen anyway. For example, A person experiencing abuse or bullying might self-medicate with alcohol for much longer than it's helpful. Or a person with a physical condition may accidentally develop a problem with painkillers or other prescription drugs after using them for too long. Or a person may live, study, or work with peers who use cannabis or tobacco every day, so seeing them do it makes them create this daily practice with their friends of using substances. Considering where we sit on the substance use continuum reminds us we can change our substance use if things aren't working out for us. 